So we are here in the IPM isolation suite, IPM standing for Integrated Pest Management, uh, which is the series of measures that the museum puts in place to ensure that no pests come in the museum to um, damage maybe collection or maybe in the building. So this painting is going to be a new acquisition, uh, it's from Carol Nell. It's coming in to be included in the South Africa exhibition. And I'm looking at it today to, for two purposes. So first to um, check that it's pest free, so it's not going to contaminate the rest of the collection as it comes in. Um, and also to look at the painting itself and make sure it's stable uh, and maybe highlight any potential problem that we might encounter in the future. And also I'll make recommendations as to how it should be displayed, maybe in terms of uh, light levels and the environment, what would be best um, so that the painting is safe during the exhibition period. So the artist has stretched a piece of canvas on this board and then has applied a glue all over. The pigment is actually um, local um, ochres that he sourced in South Africa. That's where we get all these asperities and um, yeah, bits of plant fibres. One of the issues with a painting like that, it's not glazed at the moment and because the paint surface is so um, ragged and three-dimensional, um, dust will tend to accumulate on all of these asperities over time. For that reason, I would recommend that um, maybe it's either glazed or um, covered with um, an acrylic um, hood during display um, and that it's um, definitely wrapped um, during storage. So we're looking for clues of uh, insect having lived or fed on the uh, materials because uh, it's the larva stage that eats the wood and then when it reaches the adult stage it just flies off so you're left with that um, hole that tells you it's been in there. It's very rare that we actually see uh, a live insect and it's actually very bad news too. <laughs> I can tell on the side here that it's, it's detached from the, the board at the back. So that indicates that it's definitely the board with the, the canvas has moved. So that could be a problem in the future because if the environment is unstable, that board will tend to move, um, which might cause the paint to crack and then uh, fall off. As a rule, we tend to look at um, preventive conservation measures first rather than in intervene directly onto the artwork. So that's why I would recommend stable environment so that the board doesn't move, cover it so that the dust doesn't accumulate in all the recesses of the, the paint layer so we don't have to do surface cleaning. So it's always best to prevent damage from happening rather than have to act on it afterwards. Um, because once you've lost some material from an object, it's, uh, even if it's minute, over time it accumulates and then you end up with a very different um, object. The good thing about it being a contemporary piece, uh, the artist is alive and we know from his writing that from information he gave us that he was aware of the problem of this board uh, not being dimensionally stable when he created the piece. So we know he's aware of the problem and we can communicate with him and maybe work uh, in collaboration with him to uh, solve the problem. Yeah.